Welcome to Night Prayer with Father Matlack, your evening call to prayer. Pray with us every night, right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at goodcatholic.com slash night prayer. As we end our day, let's do so in God's presence and begin our night prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, my God, I adore you and thank you for all the grace you have given me this day. I offer you my sleep and all the moments of this night. I place myself and all my loved ones, wherever they may be, in your sacred side and under the mantle of our Blessed Mother. Let your holy angels stand watch and keep us in peace. Amen. Yesterday, I invited you to meditate on going back to the beginning. Psalm 28 ends with this verse. The Lord shall give strength unto his people. The Lord shall bless his people with peace. This was the prayer and the experience of Israel in being banished, of course, from paradise, in dealing with sin, in being exiled, in going forth into the wilderness. What was their prayer? Well, in the midst of oppression, Israel prayed, Lord, give us strength. And when they found themselves in the wilderness, they prayed, Lord, give us the promised land, the land of peace, the land flowing with milk and honey. Right throughout Psalm 28, it talks about how God is powerful enough to do all those things. The voice of the Lord is there as a creative power. It's also there as a destructive power, destroying sin and oppression. The voice of the Lord, the very command of the Lord, just one command is powerful enough to do all of this. And when we call upon the voice of the Lord, we ask God in the same way as as that verse in the Psalm. Lord, give us strength and Lord, bless us with peace. That's to say, Lord, destroy all those things that are destroying us. And finally, Lord, create that peace for which you made us, which you intended for us from the very beginning. So today, call upon the voice of the Lord and ask for the revelation of his strength. But beware, it will also be challenging as well as comforting. Now I invite you to examine your conscience. Firstly, give thanks to God for all the benefits that you have received this day. Secondly, ask God for the grace to know your sins and to be rid of them. Thirdly, take an account of all the sins that you have committed during this day in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. Fourthly, ask pardon from the Lord for all the sins that you have committed. Finally, make a resolution with God's grace to amend your life. Finally, we end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Night Prayer with Father Matlack is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.